All right, guys, it has been, I don't know, two weeks or more since the old Hellcat's been cranked, probably. So, and it's pretty cool tonight, so needless to say, it's about to be freaking loud. It says 60 degrees it's actually like in the 50s already and um, you know we do got supercharged V8 action right now we got our uh, intake air tips are nice and cool obviously we're not up to temp on the, the car itself yet but oh yeah so it's so showing 59 now so prime time boost weather for the kitty cat this car, man, I swear it's insane. Yeah, it's a little cool out. I'll go ahead and throw my heated steering wheel and heated seats on. <laughs> Classy stuff, I swear. Hopefully, I'll have somewhat of a cool angle. And hopefully, it's not too shaky. The uh, car has actually not been driven in like two weeks or more. So the tires will be flat spotted for for a decent uh, decent little ride. Uh, they'll smooth out after a bit, but they are. There's a top speed, 149 miles per hour. I swear, this car. If I had it every day, it would be insane. I don't even know what I would do. It feels freaking huge in here though, guys. Like, my wife, she has a V6 Challenger. It's the previous, I guess, generation. And this one is 2013. And honestly, it doesn't feel nearly as big as this car for some reason. I don't know why. Because obviously they're the same physically, like the outside of them or whatever. But it's sitting in here, it feels so much bigger in here. And I don't really know why. I guess maybe because the dash goes up higher. But it's pretty weird. But it does feel absolutely ginormous in here. You get used to it. I don't know, I don't know if y'all can see that automatic high beams. That's pretty uh, cool. Let's see how loud this is. this car and then not ever get on your nerves 
far as the exhaust goes, other than startup. Uh, the startups are awesome, yet uh, a little overpowering. They're a little too much. I mean, honestly, it like my car, I love how it starts up really loud, but then it tones down after you know several seconds. It's down and nice and quiet. This car, it goes loud and then a little louder and then back to loud and it never really gets quiet <laughs> uh, it's pretty weird um, it's just got that old I guess just old hemi sound to it but it is it's freaking loud we'll do a little baby tap mm. like how it held that gear too this thing are smart dudes I mean, it knows when you're getting a little aggressive with it, it knows it's ready to rip too. And it holds gears and it, it'll downshift and everything. Like it's, this thing is, <laughs> it is always wanting to have fun and party. So it kind of sucks. Uh, I got off work at six o'clock, and thanks to the lovely time change and whatnot, um, it is dark at like 6:30 now, and um, pretty soon it'll be dark at like five o'clock. So it kind of sucks because can't really make any videos with it dark other than stuff like this which isn't fun <clears throat> well I mean this is fun but um, not being able to make videos sucks for sure um, not that I have a ton of stuff to make videos on but yeah to do a, a good clean roll race in your Hellcat is, if this, I guess this most people will know already, but um, you want to bump it over into manual mode, so you just bump it over to the left, <clears throat> and then you can have it in whatever gear you want so it doesn't have to downshift when you floor it, because that's, you know, that's major, that's like a second at least that you'd be losing. So you just want to bump it over, and then as soon as you nail it, what the frick that is, four-wheeler. As soon as you nail it, you want to um, knock it back over into automatic mode. All right, so we're gonna have a little, little 45 roll. So we got it in third. Let's go. whatsoever she just straight straight booked it that was sick hopefully y'all did enjoy I know this is probably a really short video I'm doing he's checking it out but uh yeah just a quick little romp in the uh the good old Hellcat and it was a nice cool night today tires did amazing as always if any of y'all are considering getting a Mickey Thompson don't even think about it just do it they're freaking they're, they're freaking amazing 100% best thing you can buy for you know stock application and for for people, I had some dude like 
going hardcore the other day, and if you're watching this dude, I'm not really calling you out because I'm not saying your name or anything, but <laughs> losing this little bit, that's not even an inch. So don't worry about it. On most wheels, you don't want to run a 305 because most cars don't come with wide enough wheels. These are a nine and a half inch. It is better to have a wider wheel like my on my Mustang. They're a 19 by 11 with a 305 on it, and they fit, you know, I obviously perfect and better than these. But these are not unsafe. These are not anything bad. Um, the only other thing you could run is a 275. I think that's the only smaller size Mickey Thompson they make. The 275 with a radial, which, yes, it will fit perfect, flat on the wheel, perfectly flat. And you will have the entire tire touching the ground. But it's still not going to be that as much as this. This is this has still got more than a 275. And so many people run these. Um, almost all of your Hellcat guys that even do any mods at all to them, they run these absolutely no problem, so don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully this little guy over here will be done soon. They still have not got the final tune on it. It has been months. I swear, like, it's insane. I have tuned, uh, what, we did... I've done two, three, five O's now. One of them being Dad's old black car, which was supercharged, um, lower pulley or smaller pulley. Uh, you know, cold air, off-road exhaust, everything. And we we tuned it. We data logged it a couple times. One day we had that thing 100% dialed in. Dodge, on the other hand, not so fun. Um, you have to actually replace the ECU or PCM, whichever the computer component is, and um, a lot, a lot more complicated than like a Ford is to data log and everything. Of course, I don't even know if these have, I guess they do because they have the air fuel ratio, so they have to have the wide band in them. Maybe? I'm not really sure. Anyways, I didn't do the work on this car because I didn't really want to get into all of that swapping the computer out, and you have to actually take the supercharger off to swap the pulley on this, whereas like the Mustang, you like no time you definitely don't have to take it off so uh, he got uh, his buddy uh, to do all that stuff for him but it's been like months and they've been going back and forth with the tuner they've been dialing it all in and stuff and they finally I think have got the final tune they just have to upload it to the car and then they'll be done with it so after then hopefully we will be able to go out in the orange Hellcat and uh, see what 750-ish wheel horsepower is like. Definitely will be the fastest car I've been, I've driven. And uh, we'll see how it compares to the almost stock. Got a one-piece drive shaft, 309 gears, Mickey Thompson's. Um, other than that, no, not performance. Factory 707 horsepower versus what should be about 700 to 750 or more wheel horsepower. So yeah, it will definitely be awesome. Um, Y'all comment down below, what are you doing Huey? You smelling me? Got the old Glock 19 just chilling. I don't know why I showed you all that, but <laughs> um, yeah. So y'all comment down below, do you like the Hellcat videos? Um, I obviously don't get to do many of them because it's not my car. This one is my dad's and um, that one is Rodney's. So whenever I'm over here at the house, um, he doesn't really care if I drive it or whatever. So actually he doesn't care at all. So um, as long as I clean it up and take care of it and am responsible in it, he does not mind. So um, yeah, but y'all let me know. What do y'all want to see? Yeah, the Hellcats. I know I, we, we got a dad wants to race them obviously to see because he has the factory three two sixty two gears three oh nine gears in that one. Dad thinks the three oh nine will help him a lot more than necessarily the horsepower of his, which I don't think so. I think I think Rodney's will definitely wax this one, but especially from a roll, this one could you know potentially maybe do all right from a dig. Um, because I think Rodney has a hard time hooking now. He needs to get a 18 or 17 with a full slick on it. But, yeah, so I have rambled on enough, y'all. I guess I will leave y'all with that. Huey keeps smelling me. I don't know why. What is it, Huey? Anyways, hopefully y'all did enjoy. 
And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video.